Hey everyone, it's Amy, and today I'm going to be unboxing this package that I got from Bai Yi. I did all my shopping on Mercari Japan, and I had it all shipped to the Bai Yi warehouse, and then they consolidated everything and then forwarded it on to me. So this video is very kindly sponsored by them. I've done a few collabs with them already, and I'm always so, so grateful for these collab opportunities because it really, truly does help you know, me be able to grow my collection a lot and I'm so, so thankful for it. So you probably know this by now, but if you don't, I can explain a little bit about what Bayi does. They are essentially a proxy service and they allow you to purchase items from Japanese retailers, usually retailers that don't generally ship to the United States or to other countries. So you can go on to the Baiyi website and they will buy items on your behalf. And then that Japanese seller will send the item over to the Baiyi warehouse where they will store it for free at their warehouse up to a certain amount of time. I believe it's 30 days. And then, so you can kind of have a nice little stockpile growing, which is kind of what I did, and then have everything shipped uh, to you when the time is right, whenever you want it to. You don't have to wait for your 30 days, but um, I did this time around spend extra on the um, protective packaging. I think for this, it wasn't a really large amount, so I think I spent an extra $15, I want to say, to have um, all of this wrapped up. I'm not sure if it's going to be necessary for every single one of you or for every single um, one of your items, but um, this time around, I just, I don't know, I just kind of felt like splurging on it a little bit. But yeah, um, I always really enjoy going through Baiyi, so um, they are always very, very quick when it comes to like updating your account and showing you what items have already been um, sent to the warehouse. And yeah, here we go. This is everything. I'm so excited, but I'll leave a link below like I always do. There is a discount coupon that you can receive if you sign up through my link. I believe you get $20 off. And yeah, that is um, where we are. And oh my gosh, I guess we're going to reveal already the very first card that's on here. Um, but yes, I have mentioned previously in, um, I think it was my last video, my 17 video, that I want to collect Vernon now. But this haul is really, really exciting because um, I'm going to be finishing two collections and then kind of almost finishing the third thing. Okay, so like I was saying, I am so, so happy that um, Bayi reached out to me and asked if I would like to collab again. And um, you know, it was such a great opportunity for me to be able to um, think about how like I wanted to finish my collections or like, you know, you know, like which collections I wanted to try to finish up. And I knew that DK and Joshua were like on the horizon. I was really, really close. Um, this is not a Joshua or a DK card. <laughs> it's a Vernon card. <laughs> okay, so this is his teenage card, right? All right, so basically... I was able to finish up my DK and Joshua collection through this haul and then after I finished them up I decided well maybe now is a good time that I can start my Vernon collection. I thought that um, I found so many good deals for his cards on Mercari Japan and I figured I might as well just go for it. You know it's not come back yet. This was before Face the Sun dropped so I knew I had this little window where there really wasn't anything going on with them. They were I think still promoting Darling and yeah so I was like let me just go ahead. Oh my gosh my pile of stuff is falling but I'm like let me just go ahead and try to at least kickstart you know his collection. So yeah that's what we have in this haul today. I actually decided to grab this one because it's at the, towards the top of the pile, but it is a TXT card. I think it might be my only TXT card in this entire haul, but um, I think what happened was originally I had this from a group order, and I think it got lost. I think it was coming from Canada, and I've just had, I don't know, there's just been some things going on with 
I feel like mail from Canada to the US recently and it got lost so yeah I just went ahead and um, purchased this one from Mercari Japan and it was a good deal so I just went ahead and just you know did it <laughs> that way I don't have to worry about it anymore all right, I really want to open this one. It has something from NCT wrapped up around it, but it's definitely not an NCT thing. So yeah, um, I was also going to say that I think because of Memorial Day weekend, there was a bit of a delay in shipments entering the US. And my package was stuck at Chicago Customs for like over a week. And I was like, oh my gosh, is it ever going to get here? I was trying to get really worried. Well, okay, so this is a Vernon thing. I was kind of hoping that we were gonna at least start opening some DK and Joshua stuff first, but we're just gonna go right into some Vernon. So I think these are all individually sleeved. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them in the sleeves right now. Uh, since there's quite a bit to go through, but these are most of his Attacka cards. You know, I actually had a bit of a hard time finding his Attacka cards all in one set. Um, yeah, actually, wait, these are, these are, <laughs> these are different. I just had to do a double take. I know I've said this before that there's the joke that like he doesn't move much in some of his photo cards and really the only way I can tell the difference between these two is the background is like slightly off like this curtain is more closed than this curtain or maybe it's just the angle he's taking the photo from his face is literally the same it's so funny to me <laughs> I mean I don't blame him I guess when you're stuck having to take a whole bunch of photos you know of yourself you kind of just end up doing the same face like I don't blame him <laughs> So yes, these were most of his attack of cards. Um, I think I have maybe a few more in this haul as well. But, okay, I sorted through a little bit and I found some Joshua ones. So with Joshua, I do have some non-album stuff. This is definitely from a DVD. I think this might be Haru, I wanna say. But, oh, this is taped down extremely well. Yes, so. This is Haru, and um, actually I will remove this because it's a little sticky. <laughs> but isn't it so cute? I just think it's really, really pretty. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just really, really wanted to have this. I'm really not sure how thorough I'm going to be though, like when it comes to collecting like non-album stuff, or I guess I should say more like DVD type things. I say that as I'm opening another DVD thing. I can't remember if this is his DVD or Blu-ray. I want to say it's probably, oh god, is it the Blu-ray? I'm probably wrong. I feel like I was just sort of on a kick for a while of getting a lot of their DVD and like Blu-ray things because I just feel like I saw some really good deals and I'm like, well, I can't pass this up. <laughs> That's always my reasoning. <sighs> but yeah, okay. Now, I knew I needed um, to finish uh, Joshua's You Make My Day. Did I get his Dawn as well? I think I did. I think I got both. Finding Day and Dawn were probably the two hardest ones for me. Um, I actually think I'm missing... Well, no, I don't think I'm missing any from Joshua, though. So, yes, I was able to find these two. I really couldn't find, like, the entire set. And I think it was in my video where I did a shop with me on Baiyi and I was searching for his cards from You Make My Dawn. So this is Day with the ribbon back and yeah, I am just so happy to, that I was finally able to complete his set for these. Um, it's just been really, really hard. I think the next couple of ones that I open are probably going to be um, from that album too. So yeah, I think this was the one where I found a pretty good deal on where they sold the majority of his uh, Dawn cards. I think there's, what, six? Is it six cards per album? So yeah, got really, really lucky and found the seller. And then, yeah, bonus HMV card. So that's always fun. <laughs> All right, so judging by the back, this might be the Blu-ray and the other one was the DVD. Oh my gosh, I really don't know. They're wear He's wearing the same outfit and I don't know, but they're at least gonna go in the exact same spot in my binder anyways, so why can't I not open this? There we go. 
<sighs> okay. So yeah, this is from Incomplete and he's literally wearing like the exact same outfit, almost doing the exact same face and everything. But yeah, I just really wanted to have both because I do have both of DK's. All right. I don't remember what's all in here. Are these all the You Make My Day? So we have the You Make My Day set. And I'm pretty sure there's at least one duplicate in here. It's just sort of how it worked out. But yeah, like I said, I was having a really hard time finding his cards in particular in a whole set. And I mean, just You Make My Day and You Make My Dawn was so hard to find. I feel like it was so much harder to find than an ode. So yeah, and it also has an HMV as well. But yeah, I think this was probably one of the very last things that I purchased. I saw that the seller had this in a set and I was like, I'm just going to grab that because <laughs> it was so hard to find. And then this, I think, is the dupe. I already uh, bought this in another set that we just saw. All right, we have some DK right now. And what is, is this maybe, oh, this is just cardboard backing. <laughs> so this is just one You Made My Dawn card. And I think the rest are in a whole set, I think. Oh my gosh, I actually really can't remember um, how I did that. Maybe it's in, I don't know. I'm trying to think where it might be. This feels kind of thick. Maybe it's in here. Or maybe this is a Vernon thing, who knows. No, this is definitely just one card. I don't know what this is. Okay, let's... <laughs> well, I'm not surprised it's another Vernon card because I really did try to complete his collection in this haul. So, okay, we do have some cards from Teenage. It's the green one and the orange one. So very happy to have these. I was really concerned that I wasn't going to be able to find them, but the seller sold both of them in a set, so always a bonus. All right, this feels thick. Maybe, <laughs> maybe this is DK's You Made My Dawn cards. I don't know. Yes. All right. Finally. So yes, these are the Dawn cards. I think they're all individually sleeved, so I'll just go ahead and leave them in there. But I actually already have this one, but I needed all the others. Yay! <laughs> I'm so relieved to have that collection done. Okay. While we are on DK, let's just open up uh, both of these. So... What is this from? Uh, this is, oh, these are Boys B. That's right, because they're a little bit taller. Oh, and they have them in this really pretty sleeve that's all rainbow. So I'll go ahead and leave them in here. But again, I was, I was really trying to find a seller that was selling both of them. Same with these two. So these ones are from uh, Love and Letter, the Polaroids. Curious what's in here. They left a note for me that I unfortunately can't read. <laughs> okay, I think we might be in the portion of the video where pretty much everything might be Vernon from now on. I don't know. <laughs> but these are two of his cards from your choice. So. Here they are, and this was right around the time that I started to like really pay attention to them, to Seventeen, like as a group, you know, and I love that album. I still listen to it all the time, and uh, that was when I knew that at least Vernon was in my bias line. I really never expected that I would collect Seventeen ever. Um, because, I don't know, like, it just always intimidated me because they have so many cards, but now here I am collecting three members, so. But yeah, here's his pair card for, uh, Going 17. Okay. Let's see what, ooh, I see, okay. Okay, so we have these from, I think, what, they're AL1? Because, <laughs> look, there's Jung Han and Wanu on the backs. How pretty. 
Ooh, I actually like these. I am going to take these out because the sleeves are kind of, mm, they're kind of thin. So we'll just go ahead and remove them right now. And I end up reusing those anyways for when I'm doing trades and stuff. So there we go. Focus. <laughs> I think I know what this is. Um, well, actually, do I? Oops. Oh. Here we go. This, I think, is from, is it the carrot version of Attacka? No, actually, this is just, I don't know which uh, OP version. It might be OP one or two, I want to say. I don't want to, I don't want to spread misinformation. I am not 100% sure which version of Attacka that is from. Uh, oh, okay. We have another DK thing. I actually thought I was done. Oh, okay. So these are his director's cut. Yeah. Yeah, this is the lenticular. It's really thick. So there's the lenticular and I already have like his um like the clapboard card but yeah these are the actual photo cards <laughs> so very happy to have that okay and another attack a set for Vernon so oh I think these are doubled up oh wait well are they oh no they were just stuck together <laughs> So there's one set and then oh is this an HMV yeah this is an HMV card and then we have oh the counterpart of this card so yay I think I finished Attacka for him already okay so this one this one was my troublemaker um <laughs> what I mean by that is I ordered this in early May and I'm not sure if the seller was just really slow or maybe there's just something wrong with shipping but I had to contact my customer service like at least twice for this one um, just for them to double check for me if like you know they could look into it see if it got lost or see if the seller actually sent it out yet and they confirmed that the seller did send it out but yeah it took like almost two weeks for this to arrive at the Bayi warehouse and I was just waiting and waiting for this to arrive. This was the last item that I needed before um, I could get everything consolidated and shipped to me. So this was the little guy that we were waiting on, <laughs> but I'm so glad to have him because he does finish out my Your Choice collection. All right, um, right, let's go with this one first. This is Teenage. So I think we finished Teenage now, right? I think this is the last one that I needed. Okay, I'm uh, not quite sure what on earth this is. It's a set of something. Okay, well, we've got some like random cards from it. What on earth is that? I don't even know what that is. But we've got some HMV cards from an ode. I don't remember ordering this. <laughs> Maybe it just came with something else that's in this haul. Maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what it. I know what it goes with. I think it goes with. I want to say this. Yes. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. So it must have been from the same seller. Um, I found his entire and oat set, and it also had um some hmv cards that came along with it so okay let's set that off to the side we know an ode is a big one we need all the space we can get so yeah i'm kind of dealing with an ode 2.0 right now <laughs> also known as face the sun because yeah I've, been, I've just been scrambling to try to trade as much as possible this week for all the face the sun cards that i you know need um for all three members that i collect um, and I'm just, I know I don't have to rush and scramble. Let me zoom out a bit. Um, but the reason that I'm just trying to do as much as I can uh, this week is because BTS is dropping proof. Um, by the time I'm filming this, the proof is going to be out already. So, um, or by the time I upload this, I mean. So I was like, ah, you know, I want to be able to focus on that comeback. I want to be able to focus on trades for that. And if there's going to be like lucky draws, you know, oh, he is wearing a very similar outfit here. So yeah, I just, you know, ah, I wanted to be able to um, focus on trades for that. 
but <laughs> I'm always really, really happy when I, can, when I can find big sets like this. I'll zoom out some more. <laughs> Almost done. They're just a little stuck together. I'm gonna leave them in their sleeves. All right, and then we have these two like that. Oh my god, they look so nice all spread out like this. I can't wait to have uh, Face the Sun, you know, uh, be done like this as well. It'll look really, really satisfying. Okay, so <laughs> we have some stuff from Hindere. Oh, another HMD card. I don't know what it is, but Japanese sellers are always really, really generous with including HMV cards. So always appreciate that. I think HMV is what, is it a Japanese music shop anyway? So maybe they just have, you know, uh, easy access to those. Um, I'm going to need to unsleeve these because I think they're all doubled up. Oh, what are these freebies? I think these are, f are they freebies? I'm assuming, I'm assuming these are freebies. How cute though. Oh, that is so cute. That's very nice of them. I want to say this one might be K-Town. It looks really, really familiar and uh, my lighting is a bit off there, but it might be a K-Town card. I'm not 100% sure. This is HMV and so are these two. And, uh, oh, another... <laughs> Another HMV card. Okay, the Hangare cards. I think there's, what, six cards in this album per member. So, yeah. Looks so similar there. <laughs> I love his hair, though, here. Very cute. Okay. Well, I think this might be the last thing but it's a thick one. Oh, is this director's cut? Okay. All right, this looks like director's cut and oh, I think I recognize who this is from. Um, I mean, I don't know this person, but I remember it being um, the same seller and they were selling a couple of his sets, so they mailed everything together, which is always really, really nice. Yeah, uh, so we've got the Love and Letter Polaroid looking type cards, and then, boy speak, here's the other one. There's those, and then, let's see. Okay, oh my gosh, they're just all stuck together. So this is from Going. Going 17, and these are the director's cut, the lenticular, and the two photo cards, and then, um, oh, is this the last Going 17 card, right? Yes. So we have this one. Oh my god, my cat is wailing in the background. <laughs> So here's a quick recap of everything, although it really wasn't everything because I couldn't fit them all into frame. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much again to Baiyi for sponsoring this video and for allowing me to do this collab with them again. I'm always so grateful and appreciative that I get these opportunities and it really, really, truly does help me be able to, you know, move my collections along. And um, overall, I just have always had really good experiences with them. If you have any questions, though, please feel free to ask. But yeah, again, I'm so happy, though, that I was able to finish a two members collections and start a third one where you can see I was able to almost finish Vernon so um I actually have since then since placing this order um, I have finished Vernon already um, I ended up completing the rest of his cards through um, other 
places here from other retailers in the US. So I'm really excited to do a whole brand new 17 binder reorganization. Obviously, I'm going to have to kind of restructure everything on how, um, you know, I'm going to organize my 17 collection. So I'm really, really excited about that. Definitely uh, stay tuned. Subscribe if you want to come back and see how I'm going to, you know, organize everything. But okay, I will stop talking now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.